Are you ready? Hi! Welcome to the annual Hong Kong Anime Comics Game Convention. We're currently in the Cosplay Hall to not record the review of the new Pilot Kakuno Clear Body. I don't know, do you think I see anything? There's plenty of more cosplayers. So, the Pilot Kakuno has been around for like, like three or four years now. Um, the earliest versions, this is not even the first version, the earliest version was like a grey body and some nice solid primary colour caps and then it came up with this white version uh, with the white body and more pastel -y caps and it went from a grey section to a clear section and it went from a smiley face to a winky face and now we have these ones completely clear models and these ones have uh, tongue faces out to one side uh, in addition to providing the full demonstrator experience they also okay I mean the feed's not see-through they also added an extra nib size which is uh, previously they only came in medium and fine and now they have extra fine so that's the one we're going to unbox today uh, it's not like this extra fine is any different from all the other extra fine steel nibs from Pilot's uh, lineup but it has it has a tongue face so uh, I'm not complaining so let me unbox this all these are fairly fun to open these days you don't need a pair of scissors for this. Oh, I just have to squish here or something. How do I open this? I like it, it's perforated plastic. It's perforated plastic. And then inside is a instruction booklet. Uh, you get a free cartridge of black and then you have and then you have the pen the clear cap with a sticker and the nib size this is extra small and here we go so this is this is a kakuno in all its shiny glory I have brought along an assortment of converters because uh, all the parts are interchangeable with previous versions you can make this, you can make whatever you like uh, and all the regular pilot converters should fit important questions, why can't I eyedrop with this? sure you can there are two holes here that you will need to seal there are two holes at the back you need to seal with glue or something and you might need to put some extra heavy duties like silicone grease here uh, our old friend the CON20 it will fit the CON20 will fit the our old friend the CON50 no longer made will fit uh, the new CON40 fits, but I really don't like the CON40. The best feature of course, which I mentioned last time I actually reviewed this particular pen with a F nib, is that the CON70 will also fit. This thing costs nearly as much as, as a pen itself, depending on where you buy it from. And... Ta-da! Now you can actually see how much ink you have left great if you're super fancy you can put in the the Namiki black con 70 but only if you have one uh, so yeah the EF nib I'm not gonna use any of these because I'm just gonna dip test these they, they all work the same way and I will I might as well compare them with the F nib so 
let's shove in some ink. Just taking some up. Let me just uh, I'll wipe them down later. So this is the Kakuno. Because this hasn't arrived in the West yet, there's no official English name. The the the, the best uh, like like the best translation that I've seen like off the official listings is um, what was it? Pilot. What it says in Japanese is, is something like Pilot Kakuno uh, Tome bod Body. Where Tome is just like um, Tome or like transparent. And so I'm just going to call this like the, I don't know, Pilot Kakuno Clear. They, they probably gonna call it something like that, I can bet. This is an EF. Uh, it feels. Scratchy? Scratchy in the same way the UEFs from uh, from Platinum and the Saibi Togi S soup, like SEF from Sailor feels. On the other hand, I know I can probably smooth this to make it slightly less scratchy, no big deal. I'm not saying it's super scratchy, there is feedback. Uh, it, it has above average feedback, but not but not horrible, horrible screeching sandpapery feedback. It's just a little bit. Oh no, I didn't wipe it down. And now I have ink everywhere. Hold on. Great, now everyone can see this. Just dab it with some tissue. It's fine. Uh, oh no, that's some stuck there already. Uh, yeah. This is... It's mostly clean. Just give it a few twirls. Okay, it's mostly clean. I'm pretty sure this inner cap is just friction fit. If I'm desperate, I can clean it up. Okay, I'll give it a few more twirls. That's not line variation. That's just the soft paper. You can hear the scratchiness. It'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, Compare it with the F, which I'll also dip. Oh no, it's a lot of ink in the wrong place. I didn't need to dip it in that far, I was just greedy. Goodbye. Okay, we're good. This is an F nib. It is a tiny smidge thicker. It also doesn't feel as scratchy, but I may have tuned it. It's probably like, I don't know, 0 0.05 millimeters thicker. So that's a Pala Kakuno. Um, any, any, any extra bits? Uh, well, white bodies attract ink. Clear bodies attract ink. Why would you upgrade? Well, aside from these being being really good, cheap, everyday beater pens, um, the fact that it's perfectly clear, for some people, it's like an invitation uh, uh, to to com to completely decorate this this blank canvas. There's really not much to demonstrate. It's pretty cool that Pilot managed to make a completely clear body that that looks clear without any weird cracks inside. If anyone has taken, seen like a platinum preppy uh, and, and, and like you scrub away at all the prints they have on the body, you'll see that the prints on a preppy actually cover up a lot of cracks in the plastic. This is thicker plastic. Uh, it's very see-through. And you can put all the stickers you want or do whatever you like, I don't know stuff like, like like break up abalone shells and stuff rather than inside and call it some sort of Braden Kakuno or if you're very adventurous order a bunch of Urushi and, and start practicing layering Urushi by itself anyway so this is a very solid pen uh, 
the medium nib, which I have here, it's not mine, I just bought a bunch for it. Ignore the pretty cosplay in the background. Um, what was the thing? I forgot what I was talking about. I've tried the medium. It's it's significantly thicker than, than, than these two, and uh, my friend who inked it put in some sparkly ink, and the medium is thick enough such that you can see the sparkliness. It, it shows up in the medium. Maybe not so much in the fines and extra fines, uh, but the fact that it doesn't put out much ink means that you will be able to use it on a lot of paper that is usually not as content friendly because it doesn't put out much ink, it's not going to feather, it's not going to bleed, bleed through. So yeah, it's a great addition to the Kakuno lineup. It's fairly cheap and it's a demo. Everyone needs a demo in their life. Uh, especially with a clear body where you can actually see how much ink you have left. There you go. That's the Palo Cotuno. Uh, if, you've, if, if you have one already, why not get another? It, it, it's a new nib. If you don't have one, 